Good morning, children. How are you all today? How was your holidays? Did you all enjoy? Okay, so let's start our UW lesson. Let's see what do we have today. Are you all ready? Let's go. What happens when you push your friend in the playground, children? Can you tell me? Yes, that's right. Your friend will move or he or she will fall. Do you know what is the name of this game? It is tug of war game. This is a contest in which two teams pull at opposite ends of a rope until one drags the other over a central line. You can play this game with your friends. How about if your team pull the hardest in tug of war? Yes, your team wins. The reason why your friend falls and your team wins is because you used force. Yes, you heard me right. Force. Our objective for today is learners will learn about force and the types of force. Learning outcomes are by the end of the lesson, learners will be able to understand about what is a force? Two types of forces, pull and push. Let's meet the newest superhero, Mr. Force. Mr. Force has two cool superpowers, pushing and pulling. Whatever Mr. Force does, he either pushes or pulls. That's a push and this is a pull. Push and pull are exactly opposite forces. Pull is the force of bringing an object closer. Push is a force that moves an object away from something. What do you do to make things more children? And what happens when you push a baby stroller? Look at that baby stroller. What is happening to it? Yes, it moves. What happens when you pull a cart? Look at that man. He is pulling the cart. Yes, you're right. It moves. So, in order to move something, you either push or pull it. Hmm. Now I have a question here. What is a force? Look at that. What is happening to Mama when those children are Pulling her? Mm. A force is a push or pull. It is an action that can change the size, shape and movement of the object. Here you can see mama is moving because of children pulling her. Forces can crush. Look at this tin children. Do you think a tin looks like this? Yes, you are right. Because we use force, it crushed. And look at this man. He is stretching a rubber band. When he will leave it, the rubber band will take its own sh shape and twist. Look at this cloth. It has water in it. But when we twist it, when we squeeze it, the water goes. So, forces can crush stretch or twist objects and deform them. When do we use forces? Let's see. Forces are used in our day, everyday life. What happens when you step on the step pad? Look at that children. 
Yes, the lid opens. So, can you think, are you pushing or pulling the step pad here? Well done, you're pushing the step pad. What is the man trying to do here, children? Yes, he is trying to drill a hole in the wood. Is the drill bit pushing or pulling itself into the wood? Think, think, think. Yes, well done. The drill bit is pushing itself into the wood. We use forces when we zip our jacket. And when we tie our laces, we use forces when we climb a rope. And when we put on our socks. We use forces when we open the hmm. We also use force when we write and when we glue and when we close the door. What happens when a force is applied? Hmm. The stationary object or non-living things can move when force is applied on them. Okay, let's talk about what happens when a force is applied. Mm, when we apply force, the speed of the object increases. Look at this picture. In this picture, you can see the man is throwing the ball. With the force the man puts, the ball goes with the speed. The object changes direction. Like this boy is dragging the rug from left to right. The boy is putting the force in order to make that rug to move. The moving object stops moving like one girl is throwing the ball and the other girl stops the movement of ball by catching it. Here you can see the girl is moving the object like the ball is the object here. The girl throws the ball which makes the ball move but the other girl is catching it to stop the movement of this ball. The shape of the object changes when we apply force on that object such as this sponge. What is this man doing to the sponge? Yes, he's squeezing it. So you can see the sponge is shrinking and then enlarging because of the force that man is putting into that object. Okay, children, let's talk about effect of forces. Force can move a stationary object. Stationary object means objects which cannot move. Okay, can you check if you have an eraser on your table? Mm, okay, do you think an eraser can move by itself? Yes, it cannot move by itself. So what we will do in order to move it? Mm, take it in your hand and place it somewhere else. So you see, when you use force, it can move. Now, let's talk about a plant in a pot. Do you think it can move by itself? You're right. It cannot move by itself. You can hold the pot, lift it and keep it in another place. So we use force to move stationary object. Force can change the speed of a moving object. Force can stop a moving object. For this, um, if you have a fidget spinner, you can take a fidget spinner in your hand and then touch it in order to move it. And when it spins, um, you can stop by touching it again. So, you see, when you use your force, you can either make it move, make it spin, or you can touch it to stop its movement. And Force can change direction of a moving object. For this, you can take a toy car and move it. And then you can touch it and change the direction of it by guiding it to the other direction.
Hmm. Now let's see. Is it a pull or a push? Now in this table, first thing we are going to have some actions. And when I'm saying the action, you will be thinking which force we put in this action. Is it push or pull? Are you all ready children? Let's see what is our first action. Dragging. Think about dragging something. What do you do? You push or pull? Right. We pull in order to drag. Let's see what is next. Next is poking. Can you poke your own thighs? But slowly, okay? Poke, poke, poke. Which force are you using, children? Is it push or pull? Yes, you're right. We are pushing in order to poke. Let's see what is the third one. Pressing. Can you all press your cheek? Slowly again. Press, press, press. Why, which force are you using, children? Is it push or pull? You're right again. We are using the force push. Let's see what's our next action. Squeezing. Did you see that man squeezing the sponge? Do you have a sponge? Can you take the sponge in your hand and squeeze it? And think which force we are using. Is it push or pull? Mm, you're right. We are pushing in order to squeeze the sponge or squeeze something else. Like you can have a bowl uh, which you can squeeze or maybe you can have your stuffed toys. Squeeze it. It's pushing. Stretching, like if you have a Play-Doh or a rubber band, take it in your hand and stretch, stretch, stretch. Or if you have your pants, you can stretch your pant. It has the elastic, so you can stretch, stretch, stretch. What are we using? Which force we are using, children? Is it push or pull? Yes, you're right. We are pulling in order to stretch. And the last one is tugging. What, which force we use for tugging? Is it push or pull? Mm, you're right. It is the force pull. Now it's activity time. Let's see what do we have in our activity. I'm so excited. Hmm. So to do this activity, you need a paper and make a chart as shown, like this. In one side, push and another side, pull. Now, draw and write the names of things which you can push or pull. Mm, do not forget to click the picture and send to your teacher. Children, see you next time. Stay home and stay safe.